So I came to Rails Girls not knowing anything about programming. Um, I picked up programming when um, I picked up programming in April last year. So that was about two months before I came to Rails Girls. So uh, I picked up front end programming. I learned HTML and CSS, which were very accessible um, comparatively compared to the back end languages like Ruby. Um, so I learned that, and then uh, I learned JavaScript um, about two months later. So um, with, with this set of tools, I built a very simple, um, uh, app, like, you know, very simple, like, like you know, uh, okay, HTML and CSS, let's build a Google page. Um, let's build a simple um, resume page. So those, those um, simple successes gave me confidence to go ahead. So for me, I think it was important that I started with uh, those uh, simple languages and then with JavaScript. Um, but uh, I came to a point where I still didn't know how to program and um, still didn't know how to take control of the computer. So I wanted to learn a backend language. And then uh, I was invited to uh, Ruby on Rails, the workshop here, um, like, um, yeah, by a friend. And I said, oh, okay, free workshop. Uh, then let's just go and see what I can learn. Because uh, I've, been, I've been actually been trying to learn on my own, but uh, even though I was quite, I had some successes with the front end languages, uh, it was still very frustrating for me at the beginning. So it's normal to feel frustration. Uh, and then I uh, came to Wales Girls, okay, that's, that's, so I went through uh, all the courses here. Uh, and uh, I, I went back, and I thought, okay, I really need to learn this. Um, I didn't go ahead with Ruby and Wales, uh, I went ahead with another programming language called Go. Um, you might not know of it. Um, it was a very, um, uh, I really liked learning that language, it taught me a lot of things. Um, I think if you're wondering, um, you know, I mean, as a beginner, if you're wondering what, what language you should choose, uh, what language you should learn first, and many people will tell you uh, a lot of things, but I think uh, if, if a language strikes you as interesting, or if you are just curious about the language and it looks good to you, um, then you know, you should just go ahead and learn whatever you want to learn. So people can tell you that this language is good for beginners. Uh, no, and, then, and then the middle person, uh, who's like, who, and both, I mean, experienced programmers will tell you very, very different things. So they tell you, no, no, you shouldn't learn this, you should learn something else. Um, but I think, uh, I think what's important is that uh, you should be driven by curiosity, uh, curiosity about programming. Uh, why, why are you gonna know why you're doing this? And, and then, you know, you pick the one that kind of like strikes you. So Go was a language that struck me. Uh, and with Go, I, I, it taught me a lot about programming. I, I built a couple of apps uh, in, in Go. I don't know if I can show you now. Um, but yeah, you can. Um, should I show you? Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, so uh, that was... Uh, that was <clears throat> okay, let me log on to GitHub. Uh, so you can find some of my projects uh, on GitHub. This is one of my favorite ones. Uh, let's see. Oh, whether. Okay, so I built an API client uh, within, the, within two months of letting go. Um, okay, there, I don't know why Harold takes take so long to load my applications. Yeah, so uh, this is my API client. Um, what it does is that it calls uh, the um, photos from Flickr, uh, so it gathers them together. Uh, and then also uh, pings uh, um, API uh, for weather information. So uh, all you gotta do is just press this button. And then, so it will show you the, the weather information for Atlanta. It will also show you the photos that have been uploaded on Flickr and that have been tagged with Atlanta. So um, yeah, I just I keep pressing and then, so this is the weather information for Tokyo. Uh, pictures also from Tokyo. So um, this was, uh, yeah, th so this was built like uh, in, in about two, um, I mean, in about two months since I learned go. So, um, so uh, today I'm employed by Nitrous. Uh, Nitrous is a cloud development platform. Uh, I think Winston explained that uh, it lets you code in the browser. So there are many ways of setting up your development environment. Uh, sometimes it's a pain. I ran into a lot of problems when I was setting up my development environment. Um, but uh, so, so what we do is that if you log on, uh, you can access your container and, and uh, so 
uh, so your container is your development environment where you write your Ruby on Rails code. Um, when you write your, your, your code, um, everything is set up for you so you don't have to install the tools that you need for your uh, application onto your own uh, say, local machine. So, um, yeah, so, um, yeah, it's been a year uh, since, I, since I picked up programming uh, and, um, yeah, I really enjoy it. So, if it's something that, that interests you, um, yeah, just keep, just keep building stuff. Uh, you can use Nitrous to build your applications. They, they are really uh, easy to set up. So now, uh, okay, so now with an introduction about me, um, now we can uh, start with uh, coding in Nitrous. Yeah, so we can go beyond the try Ruby stuff. So uh, log on to pro.nitrous.io 